Be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017. Welcome back to Be Terrific. I am Jason Aaron, and we are back at the Las Vegas Convention Center. I made my way over from the Sands Expo and Convention Center. Traffic wasn't too bad, so we were able to get over here as the weekend rolls on. It is day number three of CES 2017, and I am joined here by the makers of Cube. It's a smart bulb now. Smart has become absolutely uh, the, one of the biggest categories at this show. Uh, talk to us a little bit about this bulb and just how it's a little bit different than some of its competitors. So um, Cube is basically a smart light bulb which not only allows users to change colors uh, and create their, personalize their own moods, but on top of that, which is what all the other bulbs are doing, Cube actually has uh, the ability to sense the presence of the people within the homes on whether they have entered the room or whether they have left the room. So whenever someone enters the house or e even the room, Cube is able to sense the user and switch on the lights of the house automatically without you having to do anything. So this is the, the, the smart automation that we have developed um, through our product Cube. That's uh, amazing. Yes. Talk to us a little bit about, you know, a lot of the other products in the category, you need a hub, you need something to right. control it. Uh, I found out off air, this is a product you don't need a hub for. Yes. Yeah, so typically in the market right now, um, most of the smart bulbs require a bridge or you call that a hub. And with the bridge on the hub, um, it is just a lot of objects. Imagine if you have many multiple smart objects, each of them has their own hub and their own bridge, you're going to have a lot of connections just to the router. So for Cube, ours is hubless. So basically you do not need a bridge or a hub and the bulb itself acts as a hub. So in the event of a, let's just say in a large scale implementation, Cube is able to communicate with one another and do a relay instead of you having to use multiple hubs to cover a large area of ground. So that's actually one of the key um, value proposition of our product. Now how many cubes can I have in my house working together? Um, you can get as many as you like. So really. if I need 500 light bulbs in my house, no problem? Yes, no problem. A thousand. Basically it does a relay. 2,000. Oh, oh, okay, so the catch is there'll be a latency. So, so of course, if you're at 2,000, um, the, by the time you send a message to the last bulb, it's going to be a few seconds delay. But other than that... Um, It'll still work. Yeah, it'll still work. Now, is, so does one bulb act as like the main one? Yes, um, multiple bulbs act as the main one. So we have a proprietary Wi-Fi mesh technology that automatically assigns the bulb, the right bulb to be the main one, and then you just relay, and then um, they, will, they will basically take turns to relay to one another to ensure that they cover the entire ground. Now, I know we're getting sort of into the advanced technology, yes. but as a user, I don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> yes, you don't have to worry about that. that. It so just it works. Just work. So let's see the app a little bit. Yeah, so basically this is the app, and what you can do is um, it allows you to do individual color control. So um, wherever you shift to, you can adjust the intensity, so you can make it very bright or you make it very um, low intensity. So the smart feature comes here. So on top of being able to set moods, whereby I can't show you now because there's only one bulb, because it works best in multiple bulbs, you can also do schedules and auto uh, proximity. So schedules, if I want uh, 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock, I want it to be this color, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock to be another color, you can all set it over here and you'll do, do it automatically for now, you. Now, can you set up rooms, obviously? So five bulbs or one room, yes. five bulbs or another yes. room? Yes, so basically um, you do it in the interface over here. So this CS, um, within CS, we have multiple rooms. So all you have to do is to create your own room and name it your room. And that's when you can control all the bouts within the application itself. And when you click in the bouts, that's when you see you can control the car individual colors. So let's talk about brightness. Uh, right. How do these compare to, let's say, a Philips Hue bulb? Right. Um, so currently, Philips Hue bulb, um, if you are looking at the color light bulbs is between 800 lumens to 1,000 lumens. Um, ours is at 1,000 lumens. So uh, compared to the industry, we are actually on the average. There are other smart bulbs that may they are brighter, um, but we believe that 1,000 lumens is actually enough for the use case of the residential. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Now you also you have a strip here too, strip light yes, as well. Yes. Um, yeah. There it is, right behind yes. us. Okay. So the strip. Uh, the strip in the middle of our Vegas strip is one of your lights as well. Can you control that? How does that work? Um, yes, so basically the strip works exactly like the light bulb. 
So it has the exact same features, be it the control colors, be it the smart automation, which I mentioned just now. It's exactly the same. It's just that it's a different form factor. Strips are actually meant for cove lightings or recessed lightings, whereas bulbs are mainly placed in lamps and direct illumination. So that's the same thing. Now, do you make different size bulbs or is it just this size? It's just this size, but we make different sockets. Uh, different countries have different sockets. So we made, so you can customize the socket, but in general, the size is the same. So for right. the, you don't have like a bigger one for the bigger recessed housings? Oh, yes. Oh, recessed light. Yes. Yeah, we, we are actually going to retail that um, at the end of January. So we have that ready, but uh, at this moment, I do not have it with me. Yeah. And let's talk cost. What do these bulbs cost? Yeah, okay, so for the cost of this bulb, um, it costs $24. So currently, the, in the industry, um, a smart bulb typically costs around $50 to $90. For ours, because we remove the hub, being hubless, we are able to bring the cost down and make it affordable for the consumers to adopt the technology. So right now, it costs only $24. That's yeah. an amazing, amazing price. Right. Are these available right now? Yes, uh, these are available on our website. You can go to www.cube-smartphone.com in order to purchase it. That yeah. is amazing. You got to check these guys out, Cube light bulbs. I'm a user, I have it in my house. I'd love to try these out. Yes. And uh, you guys can try them out too. Go to the website and end of the month, more recess lighting coming. Yes, coming. Right now we got these bulbs and these strips. Check them out. We'll be back with more CES 2017 live from the Las Vegas Convention Center. Perched above Central Hall on the grand balcony. It is be terrific. We'll be back with more. We got about two hours left for today and uh, we'll have our wrap up show. Eric Fletcher may come back. Who knows? You're going to have to wait and stay tuned. It's be terrific. We'll be back. Be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017.